everyone, it's Shannon here, and welcome to A Cherry on Top's September Video Hop. This month's theme is Favorite Technique, and mine's an oldie but a goodie, ink blending. But we're not just going to ink blend a background. Today I'm going to share with you some ways to ink blend die cuts and even add texture with ink blending. The product we'll be using the most today is this fall leaf die from Pink Fresh Studio. We're going to use it to create our focal point. I'm going to grab the die here and die cut four sets of leaves out of some white cardstock. It's heavyweight cardstock, so either between 80 or 110 will work. I'm going to place the uh, die cut down onto my grip mat. The grip mat does a great job of kind of holding that die cut in place while I ink blend. And I'm going to start by ink blending the tips of the leaves in Barn Door Distress Ink. Once I finish with that, we'll move on to a different shade. This is Seedless Preserves. And I'm going to go ahead and ink blend the stem and the rest of the leaf and kind of create a little gradation where the red meets the purple. When I finish with that, we're going to move on to a brown. I'm going to use Ground Espresso and this shader brush here. This is Shader Brush 2. It has a nice linear and angled kind of bristles. I'm going to use it to quickly ink blend the stem. And once I finish with that, we're going to really add some texture here and make these leaves look realistic by ink blending at all kind of the, the dips in the sides of the leaves and along the edge. And this is going to create some gorgeous contrast and really make these leaves look like they're changing color and just a little bit more organic like uh, a, not just this seamless blend but we're adding the brown and it will make these leaves look just more realistic i'm move, making my way here around the edges of all the leaves with this ground espresso and once i finish with that i'll hold up to the camera here so you can get a good look it really does enhance the the texture of the leaves and makes it look like a real uh, sprig of leaves. Now we're going to repeat this process but with some different colors. We're going to start with fossilized amber and ink blend at the tips of all the leaves with that yellow. Then I'll move on to barn door again and we're going to ink blend the stem and the remaining half of the leaf. Again creating a uh, gradation over them. Then we'll move on to gathered twigs, a lighter brown here because we are dealing with kind of lighter colors. Ink blend that stem and then I'm going to pick up that sprig of leaves again and with my number two shader brush, ink blend along the edges, definitely going in wherever that, li li that leaf edge kind of dips in more, go into the interior of the leaf a little bit. That, that really does enhance that uh, texture. And once I finish with that gathered twigs, we have another sprig of leaves done. Now this is our third one here. We are going to do a different combo starting with fossilized amber again. This one's gonna be kind of our green leaves turning yellow combo. So basically we've created a purple red set of leaves, a yellow orange red set of leaves, and now we have this yellow green. And the reason why I chose to do kind of each set of leaf at different uh, combination of colors is because we'll have more contrast that way. If I use the same colors on every one of the leaves, it would just kind of l look all jumbled. This way you can really start to see the leaves separately because they are actually like different colors. So again, here I'm taking that gather twigs going along the edges and that will finish up our kind of yellow green combo of leaves. Now for our fourth and final, this is where we are going to kind of mix our colors up. Because uh, I want to use this last sprig of leaves to kind of fill in, so just as filler. So I started with some fossilized amber, then moved on to barn door. Now I'm going to uh, grab the peeled paint, ink blend a little bit of that. So this is definitely, these leaves are getting kind of all four colors on them, just to kind of um, use this filler to kind of fill in the space. But again, if we were to do all the leaves this manner, it they would get lost. They would just it would just look jumbled, and you wouldn't really see the definition of all the leaves. And a lot that last leaf I kind of did in the combo of the barn door and the seedless preserves. Again, I'm going to take my browns and go along the edges. For most of these leaves, I'm just going to use that gathered twigs. It's enough contrast with that kind of lighter brown. But when we make our way to the um, red and purple leaf. I'll have to move on to that ground espresso again just to, to provide a little bit more contrast so you actually can see the ink blending we do with the shader brush. Now that I've finished doing the browns, we are all done with our ink blending. I think these leaves turned out 
awesome. They really do look like real leaves, which is so pretty. Now we're going to move on to our sentiment. I've grabbed the Thanks for Being There stamp set from Pink Fresh Studio, grabbed a sentiment from that set, and we're just going to stamp it in ground espresso, so a nice that nice dark brown, onto some white cardstock. I did stamp it a couple times to make sure it was nice and bold and crisp. Then we will get, grab the matching die. So I have the Thanks for Being There uh, die set, and there is a die for the sentiment, which is awesome. And this, this die cuts out the sentiment so beautifully, getting all these little negative spaces out. So I love that. It's such a nice lacy cut. Now we're going to move on to this dotted chevron die here, this cover, cover, cover plate die. I'm going to die cut my front of my A2 top folding white card base with it. And it's just going to add this beautiful texture to this pretty kind of clean and simple card. Now we're not quite ready to put this all together. I do have some kind of like yellow hemp twine that I'm going to tie around my um, yellow and red uh, sprig of leaves and just make a little bow. I do kind of fuss with it for a little bit here just to kind of get the even, the, uh, the sides even. And once I get that bow the way that I like it, we will be ready to kind of put all of our elements together and start to create our focal point. I'm going to start by just arranging my kind of three solid colored leaves. So that purple red one, that yellow green, and the yellow red. Then I'll move on to my multi multi-color um, sprig of leaves and kind of cut the leaves free from the stem and I'll fill in some of the areas just to make this focal point look a little fuller, a little bit bigger. And I have one more leaf here to place, but I do want it to be behind the sentiment. So I'm going to kind of place, put my sentiment down and then tuck that leaf behind. Then we're going to grab a piece of press and seal, place it over all those die cuts and make sure that um, all those uh, single leaves are really stuck because those are the ones that for some reason just don't seem to get stuck to that press and seal. And then I will remove my card and then we will start to add some foam adhesive. I have these one eighth of an inch wide um, adhesive strips that I'm gonna start to add. This is a great size because they're nice and small and they fit nicely behind our leaves. I do place some of the foam adhesive behind the sentiment as well. And now I'm just removing the backing on all of my little foam adhesive strips grab my card base again, and then I am going to place down my focal point and my sentiment, press all over, and then carefully remove that press and seal. And that will actually complete the card. I'll hold up to the camera here so you can get a good look at those beautiful fall leaves. I love all the texture, especially that brown along the edges really adds a lot. And again, it does make them look super realistic. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If any questions with the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay.